and welcome back to another episode of Headphones Neil Reviews and my latest review in my 2023 group of reviews for the 100 year anniversary for Knott's Berry Farm. So for this particular review I actually wanted to do a kind of catch-up review um, because at towards the end of May the redesigned Fiesta Village reopened with um, basically their new theming, appearance, um, music and general overall atmosphere for that section of the park. So I actually I finally had a chance to go check it out, see what they did, what it's all about. Um, for the most part, I experienced as much as I could for a, uh, what was there. Um, of course, the only thing that was is still not open is Montezuma's Revenge, which I'm not sure. I keep hearing things about maybe later in 2023 in summer, maybe 2024, but. That being said, with that being the only exception for something not being able to be experienced, this review is going to cover just about everything else. So to start it off, as always, when you enter the park, Knott's always has something going on related to whatever current promotion, theming, special event, and that sort of stuff is going on. So of course you have dancers above or in the windmill related to Hispanic dancing and culture and all of that so it's a spinning couple to represent the dancing and festive aspect of Hispanic culture so a nice little touch it's not overly extravagant but also captures the colors and um, culture or clothing cultural feel of the culture so definitely worth checking out so pretty nice to see that just round it out then when you head on over to Fiesta Village, um, whether you go the from the Camp Snoopy side or um, through the Silver Bullet side, when you are walking through Fiesta Village, you do get a nice, very open, outdoorsy feel. Not because it's outside, of course, but um, it's very colorful and vibrant. You get a very um, classic, you know, Mexican, uh, Spanish feel to the buildings and uh, colors and just general overall aesthetic to the area so the upgrades and things that they did are very nicely done um this is all very nicely prefaced so if you go from the silver bullet side they actually have a nice little line of shops or sorry not shops but stands with you know food and um different wares and things like that they, it's the avenue of um i already forgot what it's called but it's like an avenue of um there's a sign that has it actually the avenue of um i'm trying to pull it up as we as I look but um essentially it's just like basically it uh, pulls into a whole relating to like the whole cultural idea of like you know street vendors and um things like that so very nicely done there there's not a whole lot of shops and stuff at the moment so i'm kind of hoping that they do expand on that a little bit and bring out more shops and stalls and things like that but if you experienced the boysenberry festival on the ghost town side of the park then essentially this is kind of the same thing with what they're doing but for fiesta village um and then as you're walking around as well then when you or once you get through that part and you see the decorations over the um stand the stall for the missions when you're going past um or when you're entering into the area you'll also notice some of the theming for like the casa california for that restaurant with the fountain and basically it's the theming here is a kind of like a villa um home kind of thing so um i actually like this part a little bit more or this part as well i kind of hit wish the fountain was a little bit bigger but this area is kind of just like if you're in a villa or a veranda, um, you have a home with this kind of layout in your front or backyard kind of thing. So it's not fairly extravagant, but actually captures, um, I think, what they're trying to do for this area. So definitely recommended. And then in the stage area, they did have, they do have um, 
I'm gonna say mariachi singers, but I'm pretty sure that's also wrong. But they did have Hispanic singers singing songs and things, so I did actually like that part as well. So I definitely recommend watching them if you have a chance to go and love the music. So yeah, don't hold me to that. It was uh, that it's mariachi music that I don't know, and I don't. I'm gonna assume that's wrong until someone tells me what it actually is. But I enjoyed it. It was nice and definitely good music there. Um, we actually also had a chance to check out some of the food, mostly just, or I just went for the tacos. So there is a, a restaurant or outdoor stand called Baja Taqueria. So I had the chicken tacos, which were really nice. Uh, I really enjoyed the taco shells. They were not too soft or overly crunchy or anything like that. And then the, the uh, food with the flavor was also very, very nice. Um, it wasn't particularly spicy or anything like that, but the flavor from the chicken and the sauce and all the various ingredients were very nicely done. So I do definitely recommend them. Um, the stall is located right next to the um, Hat Dance and Dragon Swings ride. But before you head on, or and it's also in be or between that and La Revolucion. So if you are in that area, you'll see, see it sitting right there between them. Um, and then as far as things like rides and stuff, uh, we didn't go on hat dance or we didn't go on any of the rides um, this time around in the area because we were trying to generally just experience the area. Um, but um, the dragon swing was open, hat dance was open, the paint jobs there and overall theming in the areas were nice. Um, La Revolution and Soul Spin, or La Revolution fits in very nicely with the theming for the dragon swing and hat dance side of things and then with accelerator in the background it kind of all blends together very nicely now as far as soul spin goes it actually that part side that ride actually themes in nicely with jaguar and the merry-go-round so it's kind of a nice contrast with um the colors and the look and feel but it's all very unique and um ties together very nicely so uh, with that, they did also nicely do, um, improve the theming around uh, Jaguar, so you'll see a new little uh, waterfall pond area with a, a little uh, structure in front of it. Um, they touched up the pyramid as well, so it looks more, I'm gonna say it's kind of a little bit more um, Mayan or Aztec maybe. Um, what, to my amateur eye, I can't, can't really tell you the difference, but if you've seen, you know, like the Incan or Mayan pyramids in pictures that's kind of what they're going for and they improved that look and feel a little bit more so there's more details on the period on the pyramid um, they have more palm trees and plants and um, things like that so you have you get a little bit more of a feel like you're in a, a jungle area or like the Amazon kind of thing so that whole theming works out nicely as well um, and then this all plays in nicely with the music that's going on. So you do have a lot of Hispanic music with various um, themes and um, styles and that sort of thing going on. So when you're there, you get a more um, immersive experience for the area. Um, granted, now that it has been a, a couple of years since I've gone to this side of the park, I don't remember much of how it used to be as far as the music and stuff, I do remember kind of the shops and games and stuff like that, which were nice. And I actually didn't notice too many of that being open at this time around. So I'm not sure if that's something that they're still working on rolling out. Uh, one of the Facebook, Facebook groups I'm in, someone did comment that they're probably rolling out that some of that stuff over the next couple of months because when they... Um, redid I think some other part of the park recently as well it was the same thing they didn't roll out everything all at once it was kind of a slow rollout over time so we'll probably see something similar to that here where maybe they'll start bringing back some of those like carnival games and stuff like that a little bit more as maybe inventory comes into play as a as a timing and various things come into factor so for the most part everything else is there um, Jaguar was nice I, we didn't get to experience the fire over the pyramid going off but I'm assuming that's something that they do maybe more in the evenings or uh, limited to the weekends and stuff like that but supposedly that flame is back so um, look out for that if you're at the park in the evenings so that's something to look out for that I didn't get to experience but overall like I said it um, for me the theming is very nicely done I give it high marks 
for everything that they're doing. I love the music, the colors, um, the general ambiance, the flowers and everything. It all ties together very nicely. And it's a good contrast to Ghost Town. So you have these two very distinct areas of the park that stand out against each other in their own unique ways that are kind of opposites to everything that's going on um, in the park. So um, if you want two unique experiences, I definitely recommend um, checking out um, Fiesta Village. And also um, just as a related note, um, they do have Ghost Town Alive going on right now as well, so um, you get to experience things like uh, bandits and um, the usual Old West style experience for um, Ghost Town. So with that being said, that's actually all there is for this particular um, review, episode, update, and all of that. So um, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything like that, you can comment on this post on the social media sites I'm on, which are all on the website at headphonesneal.reviews. Um, I'll, I'll have a link in the show notes to the uh, photos that I took the, and a couple, the few videos that are there as well so you kind of get that visual um, so you can see what I was looking at and see why I am enjoying all these looks and feels. I'll have a link to the video playlist as well on YouTube if you prefer to go that route, but the uh, blog post has pictures and videos in it for you to check out. Um, and then of course the website has um, links to past episodes, subscription links, and supporting the show, and all of that good stuff if you want to give something, give a little back for supporting my content. But that is all for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.